Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey everybody, my name is Chris and I'm the youth coordinator at the Parker campus. I have a question for you. Have you ever been afraid? Your answer should be yes or else you're lying. <laughs> fear is a feeling everyone has had to face at some point in their lives. Whether it's a fear, the fear of failure, the fear of imminent danger, the fear of someone, the fear of spiders, whatever it is. We've all experienced it. That brings me to the scripture for today, which is Matthew 14, 22 through 33. And I'm going to read right from the Bible right here. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home. After sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage, I am here. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? When, he, when they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the Son of God, they exclaimed. What a crazy story from the Bible. How do you think you'd react if you saw Jesus just walking on the water and he, he gave you the ability to walk on water during a storm? Some of you may say, I'd have complete faith in Jesus and I'd have no doubts at all. Some of you may say, I would have been too terrified to even try. Some of you may even relate to Peter who had faith at first, but then he lost faith in Jesus as the wind and the waves swirled around him. Honestly, I think in reality, most of us would react like Peter in that situation. A lot of times in life, as Christians, we put all of our faith in Jesus, but then the storms of life start coming and then we lose our faith in Jesus because of fear. We decide to put our faith in other people or things or in ourselves. Guess what that leads to? Us sinking and drowning in the storm. Thankfully, Jesus saved Peter from drowning in the end, regardless of his lack of faith. If we cry out to Jesus in the storm, he will be faithful to save us. Whatever your storm is, whether it's a divorce or a bad breakup or a prodigal child or a strained relationship with a friend or unemployment or bad health, keep your eyes on Jesus during the storm. Don't look around yourself in fear. Keep your faith in Jesus alone. He will never abandon you or forsake you. He will save you and your storm will calm. You can't do it alone. Peter would have drowned without Jesus and so will you. Cry out to Jesus for help in your storm. I've personally been through many storms in my life and I can tell you this, I've never gotten through any storms without Jesus. For example, when I was 13 years old, I battled severe anxiety and depression after my dad had died. Even though most days I felt as though I may die from the weight of the emotional storm I was in, I kept my gaze fixed on Jesus. Anytime I looked to other things to help cope with my fears, they never helped me cope like Christ-centered therapy, the Bible, musical worship, and prayer did. Faith in Jesus is what got me through that storm. And I can now say that my mental health has been healed significantly since then. Jesus brought me out of that storm and saved me. What's a storm in your life where you feel like you're drowning in fear? Identify your storm. Keep your eyes on Jesus and he will save you. 
I encourage you this week to pray to Jesus. Be honest about your fears and ask him to strengthen your faith. Be encouraged. Jesus is with you in every storm in your life. Keep your eyes fixed on him and you will make it through. Let's pray. Jesus, I just want to thank you so much for whoever is watching this right now, Lord. I would ask that whatever storms they're going through in their lives and whatever fears that they have, that they would keep their eyes fixed on you and not lose faith and that you would strengthen their faith today, Jesus. Amen.